Well, Scott has some work to do if he wants to make some noise here, but there's plenty of money up for grabs and two daily doubles in the Double Jeopardy round. And these categories, business and industry. Then we'll go in the dictionary, physical science, the Super Bowl, impressionism, and finally, crossword clues V. Notice the V in quotation marks. All right, Scott, where do we start? I was starting with the Super Bowl for 400. The Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum hosted the first Super Bowl in 1967 and 17 years later would host this international event. Michael. What is the Summer Olympics? Of 1984, yes. In the 1980s, the West Coast offense struck gold and won four Super Bowls for this California team. Scott. What are the 49ers? Right. Super Bowl 1200. John Elway quarterbacked these mile-high horses to back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins in 1998 and 1999. Michael. Broncos. That's the team. Super Bowl 16. In 2002, this longtime Patriots quarterback won his first of seven Super Bowl rings, defeating the greatest show on turf, St. Louis Rams, 20 to 17. Michael. Who is Tom Brady? Yep. Super Bowl 2000. Nick Foles was the winning quarterback over the Patriots for this team's first Super Bowl win in 2018. Michael. Or the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, you did well in that category. I only got one on that one. Jeez. Yeah, Jalen Hurts is still waiting for his, you know? Mm-hmm. Crosser Flute B400. Full of life. Seven letters. And you would often hear this term described in nightclub. It is vibrant. Michael. Uh, let's take a break from that one. Impressionism 4. The Impressionism art movement found its beginning during the mid-19th century in this European country. That would be France. Michael. This is an interesting four. Right? From Jerry Seinfeld to Ellen DeGeneres, this credit card has seen multiple celebrity endorsements. That would be American Express. Michael. This is an interesting eight. This car company is amongst the most dependable on the road today with models like the Corolla, Camry, and RAV4. Michael. What is Toyota? Yes. This is an HD12. Some of its shoppers call this Arkansas retail giant Wally World. Named after Sam Walton, that would be Walmart. Michael. Yeah, Walmart. Yeah. This is 16. If you're in need of a greeting card, try this Kansas City-based company to fit your needs. Michael. What is Walmart? Yes. This is an HD 2000. Not many businesses start with a Q, but this sandwich shop starting with Q will have you saying, mmm, toasty. Scott. What is Cuisinot? That's correct for another 2,000. Okay. A native language to a country's people. Ten letters.
and that term would be vernacular Scots. Vim's partner to describe someone energy. Five letters. And the expression would be vim and vigor. Vigor was what we were going for there. Scott? This Edouard Manet 1862 painting depicts a picnic setting with a nude woman and two gentlemen as the central figures. And that painting would be known as Luncheon on the Grass. Scott. This three-letter word for an insect also can mean to pester someone. Michael, just under the buzzer. What the bug? That's it. That's four. Mechanics were first seriously studied in the Middle Ages based on the inspiration of this Greek philosopher. Michael. Who's Aristotle? Yes, and you're over 20,000 now. Physical science, eight. Nicholas Copernicus and Galileo were key parts of the scientific revolution, specifically developing the prominence of this science. And those would be two names associated with astronomy. Michael. This science dealing with the eyes originated in the works of Euclid around 300 BC. And that would be optics. Michael. Physical science 16. The concepts of attraction and repulsion are the important factors in this metallic science. And we will be talking about magnetism. Michael. Finish off physical science, please. This Polish scientist and her husband, Pierre, were the first to successfully isolate radium, earning them a Nobel Prize in the early 1900s. Michael. Who's Marie Curie? Yes, for another 2000. And a dictionary eight. This term associated with any queen or king also is the name of Kansas City's MLB team. Michael. What is royal? Yes. Royalty. Royal is correct. In the dictionary 12. This card can be a value of 1 or 11, or it can describe a converted first shot in golf or tennis. Michael. Yes. In the dictionary 16. This type of fish found in coastal waters is read in a common expression to mislead someone. And the fish in question there would be a herring. Michael? In the dictionary 2000. Answer, one of the two daily doubles in the round. Okay, Michael, here's the situation you're in right now. You're at $24,200. Your advantage over Scott is $20,800. How much do you want to risk? Um, $3,000. $3,000 it is. Here is your clue. This six-letter word, similar to regard, is an object cops attempt to define for a crime. Anything? What is 
What is resist? No. no, sorry. Correct response. What is motive? Motive is what we were looking for. All right. Well, you only lost three thousand on that. Go again. I do not have a clue on that one either way. Answer clue C sixteen. Answer the other daily double in the round. Oh, okay. All right. Well. You lost a little bit on that last daily double. How much do you want to wager this time? 21,200 is what you have. I'll go another 3,000. All right. Here is your clue. A liquid solid-ish consistency is described as this. Seven letters. Hurry. Uh, that's too bad. Correct response, what is viscosity? Or viscous is the word we were looking for. So that will knock you down to 18,200. And we have no more daily doubles left, so go ahead and select again. Foster clues, 2,000. The spring equivalent of the autumnal equinox. Six letters. And that term would be vernal. Three clues left, Michael. In, in 1872 painting, Claude Monet depicted this early morning event and titled it Impression This. Michael. What is sunrise? Yes, and it's a very pretty painting. This French Impressionist was often depicting people who danced in his works. Michael? Not a bad guess, but that's incorrect. Sorry. Uh, his name would be Edgar Degas. And now the last clue. One of the three great women of Impressionism was this American who moved to Paris, leading to her most famous work, Little Girl in a Blue Armchair. And her name would be Mary Cassatt. All right, taking a look at the end of the Double Jeopardy round, this is another runaway for Michael with $17,800. Scott will be playing in final, however, he's got $3,400. So, gentlemen, I want you to both think about your wager as you get to deal with this subject today for Final Jeopardy. The Grammys. Go ahead and make your wagers, and we'll reveal the clue in a moment.